Guys, hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Oscar Outdoors. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do a structural ridge line for your hammocks. Alright so welcome back everyone, as a little intro today I'm going to be installing a structural ridge line on my new hammock. Uh, so this is the Snugpack Tropical Hammock so this doesn't have a bug net on. Uh, so it is basically just an open ended hammock, a uh, length bit of material and what the ridge line is designed to do is to help you try and achieve your perfect hang. So every time you go out uh, hammock camping you know everything's going to be different the environment's going to be different the trees are going to be slightly further slightly closer you know there's all kinds of different little factors you've got to factor in uh, so a structural ridge line just helps maintain the hammock sag regardless of how tight or how near how far the uh, hang actually is itself uh, so it introduces the level of sag that you find comfortable uh, so yeah that's today is going to be all about that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly throw this hammock up uh, in full length and bring you back all right so welcome back uh, as i said i've set the hammock up and i've purposefully set it up like this to show you how tight you can get a hammock uh, now that is absolutely ridiculous to be sleeping in uh, so we're going to do some adjustments now and then put in a uh, structural ridge line so i'm going to lower it down uh, and then bring the camera in all right as you can see i've uh, lowered it down and what that's done there is introduced a little bit of sag into the hammock uh, so now we're going to try and install a structural ridge line. Okay, so first step is choose the uh, cord that you want to use for your structural ridge line. Now this is um, four mil climbing rope from Go Outdoors, and this has served me really, really well um, in the form of structural, line, uh, structural ridge lines and things like that. Uh, the ridge line for my hammock tarp, for example. Okay, so to start off a structural ridge line, you can see I've changed out the carabiners as well. These are 12 kilonewton carabiners, so about 15, 1600 pounds. Uh, not in money, in weight. <laughs> okay, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a bite into the end of this ridge line. Okay, and then just go over itself around the back, and then just come back through the loop that you've created. That way just to form a little fixed loop overhand knot okay very simple and then we're just going to clip into the carabiner okay and then slide down to the strengthening point at the bottom okay there you go simple that's one end done so the uh, next tip in this is the length uh, now I've been taught um, that 80 to 85 percent roughly is somewhere around about where you want the length of the ridge line to be. Now my hammock is 11 foot. Now quick maths off that, uh, tend to be somewhere in the region of around about eight, eight and a half foot roughly. Now let's get it to nine foot in length, and then we know we're just underneath that. So what you can do then is just go from one carabiner to the other and measure the distance and hopefully get within them before you tie your next knot. Okay, so now we're going to get the length. So it worked out at around about 8 foot 8. So there, 100 and... Let's focus that for you. Yeah, 8 foot 8. So about 104 and a half inches uh, for me, roughly. Uh, so that's going to be my starting point. And then you get in and test and test and test until you find the hang that you prefer. So I've trimmed off uh, 13 foot of this cable and then I've put a little mark just there on the rope uh, to signify 8 foot 8. So that's roughly where I'm going to tie my first knot. 
Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do the same knot as I did on the other end, a fixed hand over, overhand loop knot, um, and then clip in to the carabiner that you can just see there. I've tied the knot and as you can see the mark is right in sort of almost the centre of the loop and it's going over. Uh, so I'm just going to clip that in now. Alright so this is the Ridgeline uh, 8 foot 8. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to adjust the carabiners at either end so that we get a further stretch. So the ridge line comes up and you'll see that the sag of the hammock hopefully, fingers crossed, doesn't change. So I've just gone an extra loop up on the jersey chains and you can see the significant height difference from where we were come now to almost level with the base of my ear uh, so let's bring you in a little bit closer and tell you what we've done so as you can see the hammock stayed uh, exactly the same as it did you know regardless of which one of these loops I actually used so even if I use one really slack down here the hang of the hammock, if you can see that, the hang of the hammock actually stays identical, but the tree straps are obviously a lot looser. Okay, and then we're gonna bring this back up. Yeah, one more less than that, there. And there, so even at its tightest point, the hammock has stayed in exactly the same sort of hang. So let's get in it and see how it is for me. Okay, so I'm getting in now for this time. Now that's quite a comfortable seat. Now the only thing is the ridge line is right at the back of the crown of my head. So if I bring it forward, you can see it's right on my forehead. Uh, so you just got to remember about that. Uh, now this looks like a pretty decent hang actually for me. Uh, so only thing for me to do now is lie down and check it out. Okay, so that is actually um, a very, very comfortable hang for me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out my pen and just make sure here is where my knot will be every single time. Just so that I know that is my ultimate hang or my perfect hang. Now if it wasn't, all it would be is obviously just untying and retying the knot further along the cord. So the knot could be here um, and not right and you take it off and then you move it to here and then it's absolutely perfect. So it's only moved by a matter of half an inch but that half an inch could be uh, the difference in your comfortable hang or not. Now again, to tie that, you just make a bite in the loop in the uh, rope or cord okay come around itself at the back Oop. Do it this way come around itself at the back there and you show something looks like this and just take your tail and tuck through that loop this is the absolute simplest way that I can think to tie a structural ridge line there are some fancy ones where you can almost braid it you know coming through going over sort of round and round but yeah, this is absolutely simple and perfect for me. Uh, so yeah, there you go. If you're wanting a different hang, obviously, you just untake, clip that. Get to your next point. Straight through the carabiner, over the closed gate. And then you can see, you've got this much more uh, slack and a bit more hang. Okay, so just a quick way to check whether you've got uh, a good hang is to grab your ridge line and make a fist and just rotate your wrist. Now if you can almost get over, that's almost a perfect ridge line. Okay, so you've got a little bit of give in the ridge line whilst you're sighting it as well. Okay, so this has been my quick look at um, hammock structural ridge lines. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. 
don't forget to comment uh, click on either of these videos here uh, to go and watch more videos like this and if you're not already please subscribe to the channel by hitting this see you in the next one Thank you.